Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Well, today we're gonna to find out is Rotella T6 5W40 good oil, and if it is, for how long can it last before going bad? Car manufacturer says six months or 15,000 miles on comments, but a lot of people swear by it. This is like like a gold standard. I haven't seen a proof of that, you know, besides people talking about it. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see. I'm gonna send it to the lab. Just pull the sample using this pump from M soil, but I'm gonna send it to the lab and I'm gonna find out. When I have a chance of getting a sample of oil, I'll always take that opportunity because I wanna know, you know, what manufacturers say is one thing, but when you confirm what they say is true, then you know they're being honest. So the results are bad for this oil, this T6. Rotella and the results are not as good as I would like it to be but I guess I shouldn't be expecting great results from an oil that is full synthetic and if you don't know what that means uh, look at the price look at the history uh, look at the lawsuit that was between Castrol and Mobil when things went south so and there is a reason why this oil actually only lasted six months with very very low mileage well because Cummins using same laboratory as I did and apparently they tested probably that's what they come up with said six months no more or 15,000 miles up to 15,000 miles or 500 hours or computer says whichever whichever comes first well six months came first and with a low mileage so as you can see on the screen let's look at that closer and go from there so the oil like i said whichever comes first well six months came first and oil is already well it's not what it should be it's already at the border it's no good that's why common says don't use it past six with those full synthetics past six months Maybe the normal abnormals you can see on the screen, it's six, seven comments common, uh, with all the emissions equipment. Um, so was not driven, it was, I would say probably 50, 50, 50% 50 uh, city, 50% highway. So, and it says flag data does not indicate immediate actions, but if you look at the numbers and if you look at them between normal and abnormal, it's time to change the oil. You, you don't want to use it past six months or past 1,000 miles in this case for this engine which is uh, which is um, not good let me put it this way put in a six six months and thousand miles and you gotta change the oil uh, I was expecting better results but that explains why I could not find a proof that this is a really good oil or proof that this is a really bad oil so there wasn't anything out there that I could find so to, to, to justify if it's being the best or being the worst so filter uh, with this oil uh, a Mopar filter was used still on a truck it needs to be replaced and changed and if you look at the numbers on the screen as you can see iron you know iron is for for this low mileage for six months it's high it's extremely high very high then you look at the nickel aluminum aluminum is is okay but but for uh you know what's the mileage for there is the mileage for there is the mileage for this mileage it's very it's it's okay for aluminum but it's not great would not be i would not be very happy with the, with that number so iron is it's high when i compare to a v8 diesel with 5000 miles at least this is high number because on v8 with 10 quarts comes as 12 quarts with 10 quarts and the iron is less and keep in mind v8's engines always much harder on well they run harder because turbo is in the valley it's always cooking their oil always 
plus you have you have more cylinders and less capacity so that means oil should go bad much faster and generate more iron on v8 diesel but apparently well and of course i'm not comparing to a same oil i'm comparing to different oil and this number is still higher than the v8 diesel with five with over five thousand miles for the iron so you can read the rest of the numbers and i want to look at, at the magnesium why the magnesium is 37 it's it's crazy how can it be and then if you look at the uh, viscosity numbers viscosity is 3.7 is within the specs this is what i found for this is what i found the viscosity on a test lab result is 13.7 and viscosity here is 14.9 so it's within the range still when it turns viscosity is still good but if you look at the magnesium what's on the lab report it's only 37 and here it says over a thousand how do you explain how does it an additive goes from over a thousand to 37 in six months something is something is going on not sure maybe the batch of oil wasn't fresh that was used who knows it's unknown it's it's i don't know how to explain this they go on from a thousand to 37 in like six months with such a low mileage that's crazy and then you can read the rest of the numbers you know what i mean it's, it's on the screen so look at this even aluminum so i actually having four parts per million aluminum and it says actually it comes with aluminum already as a contaminant two parts so actually that's pretty good very good i would say for the aluminum even though i seen it with a lot more mileage about the same count of aluminum being four so i guess go back to the so going back to the reports you can see all those numbers and uh very hard to find this information for the fresh oil you know all those additives and how much it, it's there that is that this information is not readily available you gotta dig for it for any brands of oil for some brands this information is even harder to find and for others it's easier some companies they're more transparent you can go on their website and you can pull it out pretty much anything else you want others companies it's like good luck it's like pulling the teeth you can't find anything so what is good what is bad oil you know for me the best oil is the one that i can run for at least a year and have five parts per million iron or, or or around there the closer the better because five parts is considered a zero and for me if i can get near zero with five ten thousand fifteen twenty thousand miles in one year I, for me that's the best oil i don't care who makes it if i can get one year with at least five or ten thousand miles and having around five or or close to five or maybe you know what i mean somewhere in that range that oil is for me that's that's the best oil for me but if i have to change oil every month or every three months just to get near zero then that oil to me is is junk it's garbage it's not worth my money because i it's change oil every month you know it's it's costly it's not worth it because there are other options there are so many other oils you know you just gotta find the works best for your applications so the oil has to be changed with a filter and if if uh, oil is not changed and it's been used severe engine wear is not a, is guaranteed to have because if you put 2000 miles you're gonna have 20 parts of iron you put 3000 you're gonna have 30 probably more likely so the number will be doubling going up and the more iron you have the more wear on your engine you know iron is the result of wear on your engine so does it make sense using this oil past six months absolutely not you know if the comment says six months or mileage or, or hours whichever comes first well six months came first faster than hours or mileage or the computer said so it's time to change it and this oil is should not be used with this vehicle for this engine is it good to use with other vehicles with other engines i do not know i have not seen a proof or any 
data to say that you should or you should not. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop me a comment if you have experience with Rotella or any other digital motor oil. So, uh, thank you and have a great day.